Welcome to episode 506, Brian's Chef, the fourth industrial revolution. This is an outline of episode 506. There are three reasons we study Brian Schaff. First, at age 43, he is one of the youngest and most successful private equity investor. Second, he partnered with Robert F. Smith and founded Wista Equity. He is the king of enterprise software. Third, he is also a leader in the world's conservationist movement. Let us meet Brian Sheff. Of course, we at Vista certainly think so. The, the great opportunity for us is in enterprise software. Uh, so the headline was, software is more important than money, which is hilarious because nothing's more important than money, as we all know. But, and as my partner Robert likes to say, if you don't think your industry is getting transformed by technology, then it's probably already happened. We are in the middle of what we like to call the fourth industrial revolution, and it involves the digitization of everything that we do. And the great investment opportunity, and I think all of us are, are involved in it, is identifying the winners in technology that are going to help us as we navigate this transition from what we like to call an analog economy into a digital one. He was born in 1976 to parents who were Indian immigrants in Acton, Massachusetts. Here's a map of Acton, Massachusetts. In 1997, he graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Economics from the Walton School, University of Pennsylvania. He was 21. His first job was working at Bain Capital, doing leverage buyout. His second job was at Goldman Sachs, where he met Robert F. Smith, and together they founded Vista Equity Partner in 2000 in Houston, he was 24 years old. In 2019, Robert F. Smith is the richest black self-made billionaire in the United States. He is richer than Oprah Winfrey. The fourth industrial revolution. So here's the thing. We are truly in the, the early stages of the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, there is a digitization of every single industry on the planet, and ultimately that will lead to the digitization of every single company in one way, shape, form, or another. Um, you read about it all the time, but you really have to, you know, depending upon what group you're in, you gotta get into the bowels of it. What do I mean by that? You have to now start to evaluate what is creating productivity in all its measures at the company level, and what technology, and then to what extent it's gonna impact jobs and opportunity, Okay, and what impact is going to, you know, to some degree, disintermediate entire industries? Absolutely. You know, you've seen it. Like, you know, we have these talks about, oh, you know, everybody wants to be a king, right? No, you actually want to be an emperor. Okay, and that's what Bezos has done, mm -hmm. if you think about it, because now you can actually, you know, disintermediate entire industries if you have the right platform. How Vista Equity Partner was founded based on 700% return on productivity of software. The reason why that is, is companies and customers recognize that the productivity of software is fundamentally different than any tool that they have, and you mentioned this earlier. The return on investment for software is roughly 700%, and it eclipses that of things like management consulting, contracts, Six Sigma, for those of you who remember what that is, <laughs> investments, and investments in things like clean energy and revamped infrastructure. And so because it is so productive, companies put up with the fact that there are so many software vendors. So the reason why we think it's perfect for private equity is we've identified over 40,000 companies around the globe with more than $10 million in revenue that provide software and IT services. The average enterprise customer of ours has over 1,800 software vendors. Now they might have two or three for furniture and one or two for other aspects of their purchasing, but on average they have 1,800 software vendors. And so that opportunity <clears throat> to buy leaders in niche products is a great one. And then what Vista does is really transform many of these companies that are built on products and help them become great businesses because so many of these companies are run by founders. I'm not sure if I answered any of A drop in the bucket for the enterprise software industry. So exciting for those of us who invest in software is it's, uh, one, it's the largest part of the technology industry, which has changed a lot. When we started Vista 18 years ago, it was 10% of total technology spend. Now it's over 50% and it's growing uh, faster than the overall IT budget um, 
It's a trillion dollar industry, but unlike a lot of big industries, it's not dominated by big companies. And even though we are the fourth largest software company in the world collectively, that 16 billion of revenue is a drop in the bucket compared to the global technology industry, just as Microsoft with $100 billion is a drop in the bucket. And so, Brian Chef and Jane Goddell. Good morning, everyone. Now, at first glance, Jane Goodall and Brian Sheff may seem like an unlikely pairing. One <laughs> and it's so great to be here with my dear friend, Jane Goodall. I think everybody at this point knows a whole lot about Jane and her work and what she's done. A few key things, and then we're going to watch a short video before we start our, converse, our conversation today. Jane was an intrepid explorer, adventurer, became a scientist, and really taught the world what it is about our incredibly close cousins, the chimpanzee. Forest of Africa to follow her childhood dream, to find a way to watch free wild animals living their own undisturbed lives. She ended up giving the world a remarkable window into our closest living relatives. She was me. Brian Chef on the future of AI and software. And there were new opportunities that were being created. And when people ask me about AI and whether or not we're concerned, I say absolutely not. The interface that we're all used to in software and technology is very much a manual one. If you're involved in enterprise technology at all, you all know that you know, we input all this stuff in a very 20th century way. And part of what AI is going to help us do in machine learning is interact with technology in a much more intuitive fashion. And that's going to make all of us more productive and it's going to help us create a whole new succession and cycle of wealth and prosperity. And I, I'm very optimistic. What have I learned today? Two things. First, at age 43, Brian Sheff is king of enterprise software, a position he shared with Robert F. Smith. Second, he is leading the world in wildlife conservation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Brian Chef, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.